I'm here with uh, Joe Stitch Em Up Schilling, dope name by the way. <laughs> um, Liverkick.com would like to ask, uh, you trained with Nick Diaz on his, on his uh, recent uh, fight with Mr. Silva. Um, it, was, it was also close to oh, for your fight as well. Um, did that kind of took a little off your focus on training on, on the main fight with Robert Thomas? Um, no, not really. Uh, I was still, uh, you know, working hard, running a lot, getting in great shape, hitting the bag. Still uh, had my coaches up there, still hitting pads with my coaches, uh, still sparring a lot. So it didn't really hurt me at all. If anything, it was uh, more motivation and uh, you know, I had a great camp, I'm in great shape. For the longest time, um, like you stated, like Americans um, have been under the belt, under the ties, the touches. You, got, you always, you've always, you've, you've been on a quest to put America just as best, if not even better, than the Dutch and, and, the, and the ties for the longest time. Have you feel like you've already achieved this goal? Um, I don't think I was ever trying to like overtake or make the Americans the best or anything. I was just trying to get. I just never liked hearing, you know, oh, Dutch are good, oh, Thais are good, oh, Canada's okay, and then America's no good, you know? It was, uh, and I really don't care what you think about American kickboxing, but when you talk about Joe Schilling, don't think that I suck because I'm American, that's my whole point, because uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of good American kickboxers. And I do, I think that uh, Glory's helped put, bring that to light, show that there are top level kickboxers in America, and I think that I've proved without that shadow of a doubt that I'm one of the best kickboxers in the world. Um, on your schedule to fight an MMA on an MMA fight on April 10th. After this fight, will there be how much transition and adjustments you have to make to get in get in uh, attack for for an MMA fight? Uh, you know, I'm gonna keep working my stand up the same as I always do, but uh, yeah, I'll start doing a little more wrestling and uh, you know more stylistic stuff for for the opponent. You know, um, working I'll be working more in a cage and uh, you know be geared more around an MMA fight and uh, but it won't be that much different than, than what I do now. Uh, I'm still training all the time even in this fight I'm still working on other things and before this camp before this fight was signed I was working on my wrestling every day working on my jiu-jitsu every day working on understanding and uh, reacting the right way in MMA so. Uh, you're fighting Robert Thomas he's an upcoming fighter and uh, he um, He's hungry, young. You're you're pretty much on an age. Um, you, you you feel like you have to maintain uh, as, as, like he's. You feel how much motivation do you feel fighting someone um, who may who may still be just rising? Because you're already on the top of your, of your game. And Robert Thomas um, uh, is it like? He's not on the top yet, he's just on the rise. Like, do you feel any kind of pressure in that, since he's the other dog of the fight? Um, no, I don't, I don't put that kind of pressure on myself. And I don't, I don't uh, discredit my opponents. Or, I mean, even if I fought the best guys in the world, if I was fighting a top, a top three guy, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be saying, oh my god, I'm fighting a top three guy, I better, you know, da 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 it's just, I'm going in there to fight, I'm going in there to win. And, I know what's at stake for my career, and I know that um, Robert Thomas is a young, very young, strong, hungry kid. That uh, he reminds me of me. You know, I was the guy that wanted to fight Levin when Levin didn't know who I was when I hadn't earned it yet. You know, I was the guy that wanted to fight the world champions to get my shots, and uh, you know, everybody called me crazy. That's where Can't Stop Crazy came from. So I was always that guy. So I know how dangerous Robert Thomas and somebody like him can be, and uh, you know, I'm gonna. Uh, fight my best and fight my fight and uh, there's no pressure on me in any way other than just a win which is the same pressure I always have but uh, you know, I think Robert Thomas is going to be okay regardless of what happens for him I think if anything there's no pressure on Robert Thomas because if he wins you know it's great for him if he loses it's a great experience for him and you know, if I don't if I don't ruin his chin, then he's going to be better for us. You know I mean? he's, he's still going to have a future after uh, after our fight. I think he's a guy that uh, you know those type of people, like I described, those guys that are young and take the hard fights and they're uh, believe in themselves and go for the big guys. Is uh, you know the, the guys that are the future of the sport. You know, it's a great representative for the sport and a great representative for Canada. Uh, thank you for your time, uh, Mr. Joseph. This is Carlo from Liberty.com. Thanks, much.